All right. There's been a little interest in my drone flying, and I fly kind of a unique drone, so I thought I'd share it with you. Um, this is a RoboCat 270 or 280 frame, all carbon fiber. And I saw these, and I just like the look of them. I don't think a drone should look like a science project. I think it should have some style to it. And this has body panels you can get in any color. You can uh, cut out some vinyl graphics to make it your own. And, uh, you know, it looks like a FPV racer. Flies really well. Uh, the added body doesn't add much weight. Uh, the aerodynamics, it's a drone, it's an RC thing, it's for fun. Um, something unique about this, if you haven't seen it already, is that it is a Y-tail. Um, that is all custom in the back. You can see where the original arms would go on there to make it a traditional quad. Um, I put this on here because drones don't really have dihedral or any way to automatically coordinate your turn. You always have to add the rudder in along with your roll to coordinate your turn to make it smooth. So, my idea was that putting dihedral on the back would make your turns coordinate better because of how the thrust works. It pushes up on this, which gives this blade here more, more turning authority to help pivot around that battery. Um, I use Emacs motors. There you go. Now I use a high KV motor and I use six bladed props for one simple reason. I run three cell batteries. I run three cell batteries because all of my RC planes take three cell batteries and I didn't want to have to buy a whole new set for my quad. You can also see with this RoboCat, the battery, these long airplane style batteries fit nicely into this battery rack. Tightly too. Yeah. <clears throat> the ESCs I use, I usually just find the cheapest amperage I need that's got BL Heli or D Shot to it. Uh, flight control board. Um, I'm a beta flight guy. Uh, I like how the program's set up. I like to walk through. I like the programming. It's what I started with. It's what I know. I'm not saying it's the best. It's just what I know. Always run a voltage indicator. It's a beeper so you know when you're You're getting low on batteries, it'll beep at you. Gives you the voltage of all your cells independently, so you know if they're staying balanced and if you're gonna cook your battery. Um, all the FPV stuff is just, just standard equipment. Um, I use Run Cam. It's what I started with, it's what I keep using. I like how they put their cameras on these and adjustable gimbals for your flying style. Uh, video transmitter is just standard as well. Uh, I've got an array of antennas, right hand, left hand, the crazy clover leaf, the small one. But also what I like about this platform is that you can mount your GoPro easily on this. Uh, just move the antenna over, put your GoPro mount right there, and you've got a really, really good view. That's about it. I'll put some flight footage in here. Enjoy.